All right, so welcome to episode number seven. This was just a quick look at some new shoes that I had picked up over the weekend. Um, I thought that these were good for leg day as far as squats. They're flat on the bottom. And I figured they could be a nice casual shoe with a pair of jeans. So just a quick look at some new shoes I picked up. I was excited, so I had to share it. So this was a basic arm workout. This was a workout I did with my friend Colby. Last minute thing. We decided to train on a Friday night and we were kind of bored so we decided to hit some tricep, bicep and back action but we basically started with a few other workouts before this and then we started filming once we had a little bit of a pump but this was a normal skull crusher starting with light weight working our way up. Our whole workout consisted of about I'd say six exercises for 12 reps each but you can see here I was filming and for some reason my phone was in slow motion so didn't want to show the whole clip but I thought it was kind of funny going into a little bit more bicep workout we went with a normal bicep curl with the barbell started with a lower weight and eventually moved our way up to um, a little bit heavier not max effort just enough to be able to squeeze out I'd say between 12 to 15 reps um, just depending on how we felt but I think one of the best things that I experienced with working out with somebody like Colby was that we both pushed ourselves really hard uh, just to get those few extra reps out. We decided to go uh, just back and forth between tricep and bicep workouts. This was a normal tricep kickback. This is where we really had to get that squeeze at the top to make sure we really had that muscle contraction. This workout took me a little bit of time to understand just because you have to make sure your chest is pretty parallel to the ground and your elbow is actually supposed to stay really high just so you have that contraction on that tricep but starting to see some definition and I'm really happy with the results so far. After the arm workout we went into a lat pull down. We ended up doing uh, about four different exercises for back starting with the lat pull down and this was actually really cool to see for myself and for Colby because we had never seen ourselves on camera and here in the clip of me, I'm actually able to see my lat definition, my rear delts, my shoulders, everything kind of coming together. So it's really rewarding to see all this hard work starting to pay off and all the definition finally starting to fill in a little bit. After lat pull downs, we went into a bent over barbell row. And this exercise has become one of my favorite ones just because you're able to really get that heavy squeeze on your scapula, your shoulder blades, all throughout your rhomboids, your whole back. It's uh, something that I feel like really thickens and de defines your back. It's definitely a little bit harder because of the form. You can see I'm not as parallel as Colby was. He had a lot better form than I did, but the reason why I record is so I can watch this footage and next time I do this, I'm actually able to correct my form and look back at this and say how can I fix this or how can I better my exercise. Going into a seated cable row, just another pull movement to really get that pump going for back. We were already pretty fatigued from doing bicep and tricep. Our full workout really destroyed us so we didn't go too heavy on the weight going more so for reps but we managed to squeeze out. Um, I think that I did about 160. Colby was doing almost 200 so He's super strong and he's eating a lot more than I am. I'm cutting and I'm still somewhat strong but mostly going for just correct form and getting those full reps out in the full range of motion. The finisher was a bicep workout. We had a pretty big pump already in bicep, tricep and back but we figured we'd go ahead and kill ourselves pretty much. So Colby came up with this one. It's almost like a 777 but um, went with one rep each, two reps each three reps, back and forth, back and forth, all the way up to 10. And at six, we would change our hand positioning. So close grip to wide grip, all the way up, all the way back down. And then at the very end, we did a static hold for as long as we could. But we picked a weight that was pretty, not easy for us, but reasonable. And then you can see right here is when we did our static hold. So got a little tough, but it was worth it. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> so this is my post-workout meal. Going into the next day, we started with a shoulder workout. It was a Saturday night, about 8 o'clock, and our gym unfortunately closed at 9, so we had exactly one hour. But we started with a few stretches and also overhead press going into our front lateral raises right here for front delt. These are bent over side lateral raises and these are for rear delt. This was a simple workout. We did four sets of 12 to 15, and you can see here Colby had a different positioning for his hands, but either way works, depending on how comfortable it is for you on your wrist and your back. Going into a normal Arnold press, wanted to hit a little bit of Different press movements for shoulders. We had already finished up all our lateral movements. We didn't film the entire workout, unfortunately, but I tried to film as much as we could. We just wanted to get a good workout in. The gym had actually closed early, so we had to get everything in within about 50 minutes, which was hard, but I guess we considered it cardio, just lifting weights faster. Once again, another reason why I'm so happy about filming these kind of workouts is because I'm able to see the progression um, I haven't showed many photos of what I used to look like about eight months ago, but I will eventually. But seeing this video and this definition makes me really happy just to see how far I've managed to come. But um, Going into a reverse pec deck, this was for a really small muscle that's hard to target, your rear delt. A few different workouts that you can do. Earlier we were actually doing the bent over lateral raises to the side, but pec deck also hits it pretty well. It's a really focused movement. You don't want to focus too much on your tricep or your arm or your shoulder blades. You really just want to make sure you're squeezing and pulling that rear delt shoulder muscle. Second to last workout that we did was the overhead press on the incline machine. This one I like a lot just because you're able to have a lot of stability with your feet and you're really able to focus on your shoulder muscle. Uh, a lot of other machines you have to have your own balance and this really stabilizes everything and you're able to move a lot more weight. But at this point, I tried a lot of my max efforts, so did Colby, but we had a lot of problems just because we were so pre-fatigued. But we managed to move some weight, and at this time they were saying the gym closed in 15 minutes, so once again, cardio, lift weights really fast. The last workout of the day, when the gym was closing within five minutes, was a upright row with the barbell. These ones are focused on trap and shoulder, of course, and this was a quick workout, unfortunately. I really wanted to focus on form and getting that contraction, but didn't really have much time. So we did three sets of, I'd say, maybe 12 reps, and got the workout in, got done, and went home and passed out. But I wanted to thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you so much for all the support, and please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys soon. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram, at that photographer. See you.